Today, I wanna show you how you can both record and capture your computer screen using a fantastic and also free screen recorder called NVIDIA Shadow Play. To be able to use this, you need an NVIDIA graphics card. And if you have that, you likely also already have this app installed on your computer. Not only can you record your screen, but you could also take screenshots you could apply different game filters, and you can even live stream out to services like Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. All right, let's check this out. To get started with NVIDIA Shadow Play, on Windows, go down to your taskbar and click on the search icon. Then search for GeForce Experience. You should see the best match show up as GeForce Experience. Click on that. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, but you don't see this show up in your search results, don't worry, we can also install the app. To install the app, head to the following website. I've included a link in the description down below. Once you land on this website, simply click on the download button and then run through the install process. Once you finish installing this app, go ahead and launch it and it'll drop you in an experience that looks like this. To access all of these screen recording capabilities, up in the top right hand corner, you'll see this icon. When you hover over it, it'll say open in-game overlay. And although it refers to in-game, you can use it in games, productivity apps, or just on your desktop. You can use it to record anything. When you click on that, that'll open up all of the different recording functionality. And it took us a few steps to get here. We had to open the app, then we had to click on this icon. As an alternative, here I'll close out the app. You can also press the shortcut key combination, Alt together with Z. Z is in Zulu, and that'll also open up the GeForce experience. So it's a little bit quicker to get into the screen recording functionality. Now that I have Shadow Play open, how do I actually kick off a recording? Well, right here in the center, there's a very large and prominent record button. And when I click on that, right down below, I can start my recording. To the right of the start text, here I also see that there's a shortcut key, Alt together with F9. This will toggle on the recording, and when I press it again, it'll toggle off the recording. I highly recommend using a shortcut key. That way, when you start your recording, you won't see any of this Chrome. And that way, when you stop the recording, you won't have the Chrome again at the end of your recording. Before I kick off a recording, let's click into settings to see what I can do there. Within settings, here I can set the quality level of my screen recording. I have low, medium, high, and I could even customize the bitrate down below. Here too, I could also set the resolution, and I could also set the frame rate. So how smooth do I want things to look? Back on the main screen, over on the right hand side, I can also toggle on or off my microphone, I could set it so I have to push a key on my keyboard to speak, and I could even turn my camera on or off. So maybe I want a camera overlay of myself that appears on top of my recording, I can do that as well. And now that we know the basics, let's test it out with a game. I'll open up a game and we'll try out a screen recording. Here I am in one of my favorite computer games called City Skylines. You can build a large city in this game. Now to kick off the recording, I'm going to use the shortcut key combination. Here I'll press the Alt key together with the F9 key. And right up here on the screen, I can see that the recording has started. So now I could fly around my city here and I could give you a quick tour of the city. Check this out. It's a fairly large city. Now, once I'm all done with my screen recording, once again, I can press the Alt F9 key, and here I see text telling me that the recording has been saved. That's great, my first recording is all done. And now that I've finished recording my game clip, how do I go back and access it? Well, here again, let's press the Alt key together with the Z key. Z is in Zulu, and this will launch the Shadow Play experience. Over on the right-hand side, you can click on the gallery, and this will show you all of your different screen recordings. Here, I see my recent screen recording. Over here, I see the file location, and right over here, I can open the file location. So right here, I can double click on this, and then I can view my screen recording. And it's an MP4 file, so I could bring this to any video editor that I'd like. 
Along with recording my screen, Shadowplay also has lots of other functionality. Here I can take a screenshot. Once again, I could also use a shortcut key. There's also something called photo mode. And when I click on this, here I can also take a screenshot, but I can apply many different filters to my screenshot. Over here, there's also something called game filter. And when I click on this, I can apply different filters while I'm playing the game. So here, maybe I want things to look a little retro. I'll select the old film filter. And now I can play city skylines in a very old fashioned looking way. Next up, there's also something called Instant Replay. And here when we click on this, within settings, you can choose how long you want the replay length to be. So here I'll go with five minutes. When we turn it on, let's say you're playing a game and you have an especially awesome moment, you can click on save and it'll automatically save the last five minutes of your gameplay. Over on the right hand side, you can also broadcast live out to various services, including Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. Lastly, let's click into the settings gear and I'll show you some of the more noteworthy settings. Within settings, over here, I can define what my heads up display layout looks like. So right here, I can turn on my camera. Here I could choose the position and I can also choose the size of my camera. I also have a few other options. One that's interesting is you can even show viewer comments as part of your video. And here again, I could choose the position. Back within settings, I can also configure all of my different keyboard shortcut keys. So maybe you don't like some of the defaults, well, you can change them to whatever you want. Some of the more important ones to know, using Alt-Z, you can open the in-game overlay, and just like we looked at before, you can press Alt together with F9, and that'll kick off your recording. Back within settings, another interesting one is under audio. When you click on this, here you can set up your system sound levels, your microphone levels, and you can decide whether you want to record your audio as a single track or as separate tracks. So this way your system sound and your microphone are both on a separate track. This makes it a lot easier if you're going back and editing your video later on. Then you can adjust the levels of your mic and your system sound independently. Hopefully by now you know how to capture and record your computer screen. The next big question you might have now is, well, how do you edit all of that footage? What if you wanna trim it? Or what if you wanna cut out a part in the middle? I've included a link to a video in the description down below and also right up here that walks through my favorite free video editors. Out of all the different free video editors, I personally use DaVinci Resolve. I've included a link to that in the description as well. Let me know down below in the comments, what are you planning to record on your screen? To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.